MoveIt not only makes it easy for your partners to exchange files with you, but it also makes it easy for your administrators tasked with managing these transfers. If we log on to MoveIt now as an administrator, you'll see that the concepts within MoveIt are immediately familiar. We have users, we have groups, folders, logs, reports, and settings. So MoveIt is very user-centric. Every user, whether it's an internal user or an external partner, will need an account in order to authenticate and be authorized to access the system. While internal users are frequently tied into Active Directory, external partners most often have local accounts authenticated against the user database. If we take a look at the account our partner logged on with to transfer files, um, you can see everything that is available to the administrator in terms of controls and settings that they can apply to this particular user account. Each user can have a home folder. We'll take a look at this particular partner's home folder in just a minute. Under the user authentication section, you can control whether or not the user is currently active, what their expiration policy is to have the account expired in an automated fashion. You can change their password, control what of the MoveIt interfaces that user has access to, lock users down to a particular IP address if they should only be able to log on from that IP address, as well as manage their quotas, their group memberships, etc. So if we take a look now at this partner's home folder, each user can have a home folder, and for this scenario, this business-to-business -business exchange of files, usually the user's home folder will have additional subfolders underneath that top-level home folder. Um, so in this case, our partner has both a drop-off and a pickup folder. So the pickup folder is the folder that they would be able to pick up files from or download files from. And so their permissions accordingly are set to read, list, and notify so that they have download access, they can see the files in here, and they can receive email notifications when new files are placed out here. Those email notifications can be customized, so you can either have them get an immediate notification, or if you prefer to batch those up in a summary fashion, um, that option is available as well. Pickup folders, it's also advantageous to turn on automated cleanup settings. That's for those partners that come in, download their files, but never delete them. You can set a policy on a folder-by-folder -folder basis to automatically delete files older than a certain number of days. To allow this partner to upload files as well, they have a drop-off folder. As you might expect, the permissions are different. In this case, the partner has write-only access, so they can upload to this folder, but once they upload the files, they are not able to delete them or not able to re-download those files. Once again, email notifications can be used. In this case, we have an upload confirmation to sender configured, so your partner gets that confirmation when files have been uploaded to the server successfully. And also, if you wish to restrict what file names are valid for this folder, you can use the Change Allowed File Masks setting to restrict what file names can be uploaded into this folder. In order to check our work, we can go back to the user's profile and view their folder access list. And you can see in summary format that this user only has access to these particular drop off and pick up folders on the system. If you wish to then view the log entries related to, let's say, a particular user's activities, we can go into the logs and filter and query those logs, in this case by user, and quickly and easily bring up a list of all the log records related to activities uh, performed um, by or on this particular end user. So this not only shows the file transfers that this particular user has performed, but also shows administrative actions such as the user signing on, changes being made to that user account, um, and so on. These audit logs are tamper evident in nature. 
so you can be confident that the records being displayed are accurate and have not been subsequently tampered with after being recorded in the log. There are also reports. So there are built-in and custom reports. Um, this screen shows all of the reports that have been configured, which allows an administrator to go in and run any of these reports on demand. Um, running a, a report allows the user or the administrator to save that report and go in and um, in view. In this case, just a simple uh, report being displayed in HTML format. Additional reports can be added. There are over 90 predefined reports available in these various categories, as well as the ability to create custom reports. Once added, the reports can also be edited in order to change what fields that report is going to pull data from, as well as what schedule that report, if any, is going to run on, and also what format that report should be stored in. On the Settings tab is where an administrator can really configure MoveIt to best fit their requirements. MoveIt is extremely configurable without requiring a lot of customization. We won't go into each and every one of these configuration options in this demonstration, but for example, the branding can be performed right from within this settings page. Email notifications can be customized. Display profiles, turning on or off different elements of the user interface can be configured on this settings page. Additionally, your security policies can be defined, passwords, how long and complex they need to be, how frequently those passwords need to be changed, user lockouts, IP lockouts, auditing logs, how long those are retained on, on the server. So this is all done through this GUI admin screen, making it very easy for administrators to go in and make configuration changes.